This is Lawrence D. Alex, and today I'm talking about the game that's only played with you. There are tons of videos, tons of audio, tons of books talking about the game. What you need to do to get that woman. What you need to do to get her into bed. What do you need to do to go to the next level? But one thing that some of them fail to tell you is that the game is only played with yourself. The true game starts when you look in the mirror. It starts with you. It doesn't start with the woman. It doesn't start with you, how you dress. It doesn't start with what you wear. It doesn't start where you live or what car you drive. It starts with the inner conversation that you have with yourself. That is where true game begins. It's with you and you alone. Once you realize that and begin to execute it, you will see that your game will go to another level. So many times, men have not taken the opportunity to work on themselves because the game is not played with the woman, it's played with you. I give you an example. When I was in junior high school, my father had me read this book on the power of believing. So what he would do is, he would say this summer, I want you to look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're going to make A's and B's next school year when you brush your teeth. I thought he was joking, thought he was just playing a game, he was just trying to see what I would do, what would happen. So I did it. Midsummer, I stopped. By the time school started, and I got into classes, I actually began to do way better than I did the year before because it had nothing to do with my intelligence going up or down. It was what I believed and what I programmed in my subconscious to happen. It's the same thing happens when you begin to apply this same principle into game. The game is only played with you. It's not played with anyone else. So if you have a problem believing that you're short and that all the women that you're gonna mess with are gonna have a problem because you're short, Guess what? All the women are going to have a problem with you being short because it's conscious or it is it's something that you are paying attention to within you and you're projecting it out onto the canvas of the world. So everyone bumps into the belief that you have about yourself. So once you begin to change the belief that you have about yourself, game on yourself, that you are the man, that you are the prize, some things that you don't even have to speak, you just exude that, it begins to change the quality and the women around you. They begin to bump into your standards. They begin to bump into your self-belief. They begin to bump into who you really are. So the work needs to be done on the inside, mentally, spiritually, and physically. You need to work on yourself as a person, as a man. It has nothing to do with the woman at all. Then you can weed out the tribe of women that are coming into your life. The women that come into your life become now a gauge of where you are at mentally because we only, we're only attracting a person on some level that's like us. And if it's something that you do not like in that person or that woman, you need to come back and check yourself and say, what in me do I need to adjust? If women are disrespecting you, then what in you are you disrespecting? Because people only go as far as you allow them to. People only disrespect you as far as you allow them to. So I, it's crazy when I see men, and I know I got a couple friends, personal friends, who always complaining about women and their behavior. The issue is not the women, but your behavior and how you expect them to respond to you. That's real game. Because you already decided that women are going to respond a certain way to you, and that's it. Once you realize that you have, you set your internal standard. See, many times men set a standard on the outside, but they have not concreted on the inside of them. You must set your internal parameter or parameter to where you need it to be. Like you adjust your heat, that's the same way you need to adjust the way you want people, your situations around you to be. So you have to set your intentions. You have to be specific.
specific in what you want to happen. But it's not played with other people. Other people are just squirrels in your world. As the pimp would say, trying to get a nut. You have to realize that people are only going to do or come in your life contingent on who you are. You don't like how women are treating you or how they do in their behavior? Check your beha- check yourself. It always is a reflection back to the mirror that's inside of you. And a lot of times men do not want to do that because they want to play the blame game that is the woman. If she does have behavior that does not line up with your standard, what you need to do is have her exit stage left. Either she comply or she goes. But the reality of it is, it's not played with her at all. The game, my brother, is played with you. It's the mirror that you look at every day. It was this example I read years ago about this woman who was constantly looking to get with this guy that she would go to this club and play the guitar. And she really wanted him. She found him super and just attractive. But somehow the guy never caught her, caught her attention. She would come every year, come every every Friday night and listen to him play the guitar and really just enjoy it. But she was so attracted to him. So finally she realized that the issue was not the guy wasn't attracted to. She had not became the person on the inside that he would be attracted to. Let me repeat that again. He had not become, she had not became the person on the inside that he would be attracted to. So but she began to make some internal adjust, adjustments on herself outside of her wanting to be attracted to this young man who played the guitar every Friday night. Once she began to make those internal adjustments, things began to change. He caught her eye. They had a drink. She then had their first date. From then, they went further. But she had to first become internally the person on the inside that he would be attracted to. So the game is not played with anybody else. It's only played with you. Once you play the game only with you, you will see changes in your life. You will see how women will respond differently to you once you begin to work on yourself. The key here is to begin to work on yourself. Work on your mental, your vocabulary. Work on how you view yourself. Because how you view yourself is how people are going to respond to you. If you view yourself as no good, ain't nobody going to like me, I ain't got it all together, guess what's going to happen? People are going to view and view you and treat you a certain way because of how you treat yourself. So I challenge you today, my good brothers, to begin to adjust how you see yourself. Not only how you see yourself, because you can do all this internal work, but if you apply no action to it, it means nothing. So the next thing you need to do is make sure you put action with, with how you see yourself. I'm telling you, it works. The moment I personally, Lawrence D. Adams, begin to see myself and to begin to do the internal work, the quality of women begin to change. How they treat me, how they call me sir how they call me master, how they respect my boundaries because I set the boundaries before they even showed up. 
is amazing. It's no magic pill. There's no miracle oil. It's all the game that you play with yourself. This is Lawrence D. Adams. Like, subscribe, and have a great day.